Hi, my name is Arjan Osterk, and today I will present Cacti, a capture avoidance protocol that utilizes client-side trusted execution environments. This is joint work with Yoshimichi Nakatsuka and Jean Sudik from University of California, Irvine, and Andrew Pavert from Microsoft. Completely automated public Turing tests to tell computers and humans apart, more well-known as CAPTCHAs, were first introduced in 2003. CAPTCHAs are tasks based on AI problems that are difficult for machines to solve, but easy for humans. Mainly used on the web, CAPTCHAs are used to protect high demanding items, such as event ticket sales or high value events, such as signing up for an email. There are different types of CAPTCHAs varying from distorted text or object recognition to invisible ones embedded in multiple web pages. Unfortunately, CAPTCHAs are annoying. They're time consuming and often difficult. Some take 30 seconds on average to complete. They also need proper equipment and environments to be correctly interpreted and answered. They might also lack support for blind or visually impaired users. Some schemes are more convenient than others and require much less user effort, but use client data such as cookies and browsing behavior, potentially invading user privacy. Moreover, techniques to subvert CAPTCHAs are becoming more and more advanced with the progress in machine learning. CAPTCHAs also can simply be outsourced to actual humans for very small or no fees. Still, CAPTCHAs are used by millions of websites every day. The main reason is that CAPTCHAs are still effective for rate limiting certain activities, even after considering the methods to circumvent them. We want a way to reduce the friction between users and websites by minimizing captures shown to users while protecting servers. To this end, we need a mechanism that allows users to construct some type of proof about the rate at which they have performed some action. We call this a rate proof. Instead of showing captures, servers provide a rate threshold and a timestamp to the client. If the client's current rate is below the threshold, the client generates a rate proof and adds the new timestamp to its database. If the proof is verified by the server, clients skip captures. In order to produce these rate proofs, the client maintains a list of timestamps for each of the times it performed a specific action. In fact, clients maintain two types of lists per website list that track the rate for a specific website and a global list that tracks the rate across all websites. Clients that cannot or do not want to provide a rate proof simply fall back to being presented with a caption. Let's talk about the requirements for such a system. First of all, clients should not be able to forge rate proofs. Second, the client's privacy must be protected. No linkage of rate proofs to other rate proofs or to clients should be possible. Lastly, deployability is a major requirement since we ex expect the system to run on the web. Latency and data transfer should be minimal. Here is the overview of Cacti. When a client requests access to a server resource, for instance, a web page via a GET request, the server provides the necessary values to produce the rate proof, as well as a digital signature and public key to protect the integrity of the values. The public key and the server name serve as an identifier for each server, creating a different list of timestamps associated with each server. Note that we do not assume any public key infrastructure. The public key acts similarly to how one can verify updates to Android applications that come from the same publisher. Cacti uses trusted execution environment 
on the client device to isolate Cacti code or Enclave and data from other software on the system, even the privileged ones. The TEE code generates a rate proof by signing the request if the rate is below the server provided threshold. The new timestamp is then added to the timestamp database. Note that the rate proof does not reveal the actual rate. It is signed using a group private key, which is issued to the Cacti code by provisioning authorities after remote attestation. That is, after ensuring the correct code is running on the client device. Side note here, we introduce provisioning authorities to remove the burden of client TE attestation from servers, because remote attestation can be complicated due to multiple TE vendors, different software running on TEs, and sometimes required assistance from vendors. PAs are similar to web certificate authorities and websites can choose which, PA, which PAs to trust. After the rate proof is generated, it is then sent to the server for verification. If it is verified, the client gets access to the requested resource without solving any captures. There are two main challenges in realizing Cacti. The first is that TEEs have a limited amount of secure memory. This means that we have to store the timestamps outside of the TEE as they must be stored indefinitely. A malicious client could try to convince the Cacti code that the list of timestamps contains fewer timestamps than the actual. To prevent this, Cacti creates a hash chain of timestamps for each server. This way, we only need to integrity protect or seal the head of the hash chain. To ensure rollback protection, we use hardware monotonic counters that can't be tampered by software. Cacti code embeds the value of the monotonic counter in the integrity protected data. If the client supplies the enclave with all data, the counter will be less than expected. However, as the number of monotonic counters are limited to 256 per enclave for Intel SGX, we cannot assign a counter to each list hash chain head for sealing. Instead, we build a Merkle tree from the head of hash chains of each list. This way, we only need to seal the root. Our prototype includes a browser extension and an application that hosts the TEE, an Intel SGX enclave. The browser extension parses the rate proof parameters embedded in a specific HTML div element and passes it to the host application, which in turn hands it to the TEE to generate the rate proof. For adversarial clients, Cacti security is assured by a combination of in enclave checks and TE properties. In the paper, we present a security analysis working through various different types of att potential attacks and how Cacti mitigates them. Our group signature scheme prevents adversarial servers from linking rate proofs to clients or rate proofs to other rate proofs generated by the same client. In addition, rate proofs do not reveal the actual rates which could have been used to track clients. If provisioning authorities are found colluding with clients to cheat the system, servers can simply stop accepting rate proofs that are generated using group private keys issued by that PA. Our latency evaluation shows that Cacti is able to generate and verify rate proofs under a quarter of a second. Moreover, Cacti can reduce bandwidth utilization by 98% compared to existing capture systems. We have a bunch more evaluation figures in the paper if you'd like to check them out. That concludes our presentation. The main takeaways are that we have shown an initial approach for using client-side TEs to enhance users' experience on the web without reducing security. And we anticipate that this design pattern can also support other use cases in the future. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to answering your questions.